So Skylar and I were at a bar last night. I'm sipping on my IPA and I think to myself, we've always wanted to go to Nashville. It's only four hours away from Atlanta, but we just never pulled the trigger and decided to go. So we're like, if we're gonna go, let's freaking book it and let's go to Nashville. So I finished my beer. It was very delicious, by the way. Pull out my phone, pull up Expedia app because I love using Expedia and booked a hotel, the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Nashville for tonight. So we are headed to Nashville right now. Super last minute spontaneous trip. I will see you in Nashville. You better, you better, you better call me up. Whenever you're gone, I can change a lot. I don't need the shots if you're so alive, but I need to know, yeah, I need to. Welcome to Nashville, baby. If you can hear that live music, it's a good change of pace from Atlanta where you walk into any bar and they're blasting like little baby. Welcome to the crib for night, guys. And also, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I forgot to say that I was so pumped to get to Nashville. We've been trying to get here for such a long time. Skylar is a country girl by nature. She was born in the middle of nowhere, so it is awesome to be here. Super nice spot as well. However, I did book one king bed. They give us two queen beds because they knew we can't sleep in the same bed. You know that? Right. That's that's yeah. not right. We can't do that. Right now it's about 7 p.m. So we're getting ready to go out. It's not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Right now it's about 7 p.m. So we're getting ready to go out. In the meantime, I got to hop in a freezing cold shower to wake up a little bit. So in the meantime, cue the intro. I hope you enjoy another video today. Let's go. All right, guys, this is the main reason I booked this hotel. Check out this roof deck with the sick view of the city right behind us. This is awesome. This is really freaking cool. Might take a dip in this pool later as well. The one thing about Nashville I noticed driving in is that it's considerably smaller than Atlanta, especially the traffic. There was, I mean, a decent bit of traffic driving into downtown that's natural, but way less traffic, way less people, much more chill, much more laid back. You can just sense the vibe here is very, very relaxed, which is awesome. What you think, baby? I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I think it is beautiful too. How pissed would you be if I just shoved you into this pool on camera right now? Oh my God, you'd be coming <laughs> with me. There's only one proper way to kick things off. It's with probably the most underrated beer of all time. Let me tell you what that is. Foster's, baby. Check out this thing. There's 25 ounces packed into here in this fat freaking can. It's very short and very wide. It's it's pretty interesting. I've had this a number of times, but Skylar's gonna taste test it right now. She's probably gonna find it disgusting. Let's crack open it right here. Yum. Mm. 8.25 out of 10. Let's go, baby. Mmm, yum. Yum. Uh, What'd you give it? I get it. Negative zero. She doesn't appreciate the beer. Please ignore my dance moves. I know they are terrible. I've actually kind of wanted to take some dance classes. Should we do that? I've that actually might, thought about it myself. That might be kind of cute, some couple dance classes. But anyways, I've asked four people, four contacts I have here in the Tennessee area, and they've all said the first bar we gotta go to is Kid Rock's Honky Tonk Bar. So we're gonna go hit that up right now, and I'll let you know in the morning how everything was. I like doing it in every hotel that's really dumb is going to the ice machine because I love ice. Get some ice. Just eat it. You think I'll wait for that? I know. You guys doing that? This is literally what I look for. Dude, I love ice. Alright, baby. I'm gonna let you test how cold the water is first. How is it? It's not that bad. You're good? I think it's heated. Okay, let's see. It's pretty freaking cold. So I didn't know there were so many bars on Broadway. This is like bar heaven. It, there's a ton. I mean, I figured there were a lot, but I think it would take us easily five or six trips to Nashville to hit up every single bar on that strip. Overall, super fun night. The vibe is very different than Atlanta. We started off at Kid Rock's Honky Tonk Bar, and that was nice, but it was so freaking packed to the point where there's literally no room to walk. 
So we weren't there that long. We went to Jason Aldean's, went down the strip, a couple other random bars, but our favorites by far was actually Florida Georgia Line, FGL. That one was, was hands down the best one for sure. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, yeah. 10 out of 10. I would, I would say it. like 9.6 out of 10. It was a good mix between country music and like throwback pop 2005, 2010. And call me what you want, call us what you want, but there's not much better than OG Justin Bieber. Alright, so if you follow my channel, you know that we cannot leave Nashville without checking out an apartment. So we're about to do an apartment tour. This place is called Aberley Riverwalk. It's right on the Cumberland River that goes through Tennessee. It's right over there. Check it out in a sec. But if we were to move out of Atlanta and not back to Ohio where our parents are, it would be right here to Tennessee. So I'm pretty pumped to go check this out. I'll explain more after this tour. So let's head inside. We don't have any appointment or anything. So hopefully they'll take us last minute. Alright, let's take a look. This place is brand new, they said. They said they just start leasing it in January of this year and I definitely wanted to tour something that is pretty similar to what we have now in Atlanta this unit is about 750 760 square feet as you can see everything is brand new from the paints to the floors to the backsplash to the kitchen the kitchen is like identical to what we have right now the price on this was a little under 1800 base rent about 1770 1780 plus extras puts you all in at about 1950 that's about 200 bucks less than what we're paying here in Atlanta. I know rent in Nashville has gone up as well. It has across the country, but I think Nashville, at least from my understanding, is a little cheaper than Atlanta. But there's a look at the bathroom. Here's a look at the bedroom. This bedroom is definitely smaller than what we have in Atlanta right now. So, I mean, if we were to move into to this place, might get a bigger unit than this. This is a general overview of what we could get here in Nashville. I like those lighting in the kitchen as well. Yeah, so it's definitely want to tour this place and see what we can get. I really like it. It looks very, very pleasing. And then this is a balcony. It is a really good size. It's about double the size of what we have now in Atlanta. Our balcony right now is, is pretty small. And it's a sweet view overlooking the river over there. This gym is really sick. And this is another reason I wanted to tour this one. It's half inside and then half outside. And when it's not too hot, they open up the garage, leads out to this outdoor area over here. And then here is the pool and then also the bikes. I didn't want to love that one as much as I did. I wanted to say, hmm, that's a nice spot, go home and forget about it. But that one was so nice that we're gonna go home and legit think about, you know, what if. But this is the place back here behind these trees. And this right here is called the Greenway. If you're in Atlanta, it is identical to the Beltline. I mean, literally the same concept. So if you can see behind me all the way down there, there's the Nashville downtown skyline. You can walk this greenway all the way downtown. It might take you 45 minutes to an hour to walk all the way there, but it connects all the way through. And then right next to it is the Cumberland River right here. Super, super, super pretty. So what do you think? What are you thinking right now? Um, I have a lot going through my head. This place is way too nice. It's way too nice. <laughs> like it it's hit, way too nice. It checked yeah. all of our boxes. Yeah. For some background, we've always talked just here and there what if we move to Tennessee? Because one, she's always wanted to do that. And within the last year or two, I've kind of thought about that as well. Nashville is booming. It's amazing weather here. The people were very, very nice and laid back and chill. We just had this thoughts going back and forth. What if we moved to Nashville? So we had to check this place out. If we didn't go back to Ohio, where all of our family is, if we moved out of Atlanta, it would be to right here. But at least in Atlanta, ends in next August, so we definitely have some time until then to even think about anything serious. But, wow, this place is pretty nice. I know you know I changed a lot The sun, the sunshine on my eyes It's been so gotten cold tonight that's probably like the first time in 10 years I've had Cracker Barrel. Amazing old time classic, can't go wrong with that. But check out the gas here. You see that? 339. It is still over four bucks in most of Atlanta. 
Also a plus of Tennessee. Another thing about Nashville is that we felt extremely safe the whole time, right, Skylar? Yeah. I mean, there wasn't a single time where we felt like there's sketchy people, or we felt uneasy, or that there was a crime going down. There were obviously some some cops, some, some security guards around watching out, but even at the doors of all the bars, there was no metal detectors, there was no scanning, you know, your clothes are patting you down, checking your pockets. Every single bar in Atlanta, they do that because there's people carrying all the time. Nashville, very, very safe, very welcoming, never felt at all in danger, even when we were walking back from the bar at like two o'clock in the morning by ourselves, it, it was perfectly fine. You better, you better, you better call me up. Whenever you're gone, I can change the lot. I think the best part about going on vacation is coming home at the end. So back at the crib, back in Atlanta. Super fun, last minute spontaneous trip to Nashville. I think we're gonna do these more often. Atlanta is a really centralized location, so like Birmingham, Alabama is an hour and a half, two hours away. Even like Jacksonville, Florida is like four hours away. Charlotte is like three and a half hours away. So we'll definitely do more of these moving forward. I'm gonna be up all night editing this video because right now is the night before I'm dropping this video. So for that reason, please drop me a thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't because I drop a new video every single Monday that you don't wanna miss. See you next Monday.